All right, I want to talk about editing vectors in OpenTunes, and to lay the groundwork for that, let's first clarify what vectors are. Two big categories of digital imagery are raster graphics and vector graphics. Raster graphics, also known as bitmap, are imagery composed of colored pixels in a grid, and if you zoom in, you'll see the color value assigned pixel by pixel. Vector graphics, by contrast, is geometry that's composed of control points and regardless of zoom, you'll see a representation of that geometry. For a practical example of both, here's a pair of raster and vector graphics in OpenTunes. And from far away, they look pretty similar, but if we zoom in, we'll see the raster imagery is a grid of pixels with color information assigned, while the vector imagery is geometry that stays crisp regardless of zoom or scale. If we wanted to edit this imagery, since the raster data is limited to just these pixels, if we apply changes, like rotation or scale, we're losing quality with each transformation. But the vector imagery is generated by control points, and we can edit those as much as we like without losing quality. OpenTunes has some useful tools for this kind of editing, and that's going to be the topic for our next section. So, if the difference between raster graphics and vector graphics is new information, I hope this video has been helpful. If you'd like more information, there's also an article linked below. Uh, now that we've got that covered, let's show some tools for editing our vector brushstrokes in OpenTunes. That's coming up next. I hope you find these videos helpful, and if so, subscribe for more tutorials and check out thundercluck.com, especially if you have any young readers or fans of animation in your life. Thanks for watching.